All right, so Firefighter Bartel here is gonna simulate drafting operation using the jet siphon strainer, no lines flowing, and the hard suction. Step one is gonna be to hook up your 50 foot section of inch three quarter to the end of the jet siphon. Drop in your 20 feet of hard suction, or 10, depending upon how far away you are. It's gonna idle up after switching to RPM mode to about 1,000 PSI. Charges hand line to about 100 pounds to the hard suction. Once that's done, he's gonna open up his intake. As you can see, it's weighing down a little bit. He's gonna also open up his bleeder valve to let any of that air pressure out of the system. Looks like he has a uh, vacuum going. Gonna gate down his line for around 50 pounds. That's it, he's going to set zero flowing lines. Just one line going into the jet siphon. Once you have the draft, you can switch to pressure mode, and then the governor can regulate the pressure. All right, so now we're gonna simulate a tender feeding the engine, because we had a lot of problems with the guy doing this operation, so the hydrant is gonna be the tender now. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate flowing a nozzle off the, off the engine. So that's your supply line to the primary attack engine. Remember, you're going to be water supply to that primary attack, whether you're right next to them or you're 300 feet down the road. Kind of like when we practice at the drill spot count. So we're going to simulate water coming into you from a nursing tender or engine, and then we're going to do uh, simulate a flowing line off this engine as well. The firefighter Bartel is going to open up his intake to the supply side from the tender. He's going to flow water out the back. We're going to simulate water coming into your pump. We're going to basically use the pressure from that line to suck up the draft water out of here. So it's a material effect we're creating. You can see here without pulling any prime, by gating these two valves, gating and feathering the switches, how to do that. All right, so this one's fully open right now. Dan is going to basically gate these two valves so that they switch around the same time. So we're flowing off the back of the engine, simulating a supply. By doing this operation, you see the water start to fill automatically. The vacuum, nice and smooth. Remember, this operation is dependent upon flowing line. So if you don't have water flowing from the other engine or hand line, you're going to have to create that. The way you create that is using your tank fill. Your tank fill is essentially a hand line flowing off the engine. So if you open up your tank fill, you can do the exact same thing. If you open up all the way during the changeover process, it's going to pull your draft for you. All right, the very last step we're going to do is simulating just a prime situation where the pump's dry and you want to get water inside the pump. Operation, we're going to basically shut down our supply to the attack engine. We're going to talk to them, let them know that we're shutting down water. We're going to make sure that he's full on his tank, and you're going to make sure the engineer you're full on your tank. And once that's done, everything gets shut down, and you basically pull draft and the prime alone. Key point here is making sure that all your drains are shut. Set your idle to about 1,000 RPM. You have to switch over to RPM mode if you have that option. You do not want to stay in pressure. Once you have the draft set and you're flowing, you're going to go ahead and put it in pressure mode. But initially, you need to draft in RPM mode. note here is look at your intake. As long as you're in a vacuum, you're good. When you open up your discharge that you're flowing off of, whether it be a supply line to another engine or a discharge up your pump panel, listen to the engine. Listen to the sound it's making. If you're having issues, you're going to hear a hiccup. You're also going to have to watch your gauges, okay? Again, look at your intake gauge. You should be in vacuum. Now, these gauges are not really that great, but when they're below zero, they're in vacuum. When you have your supply and you've got a draft, all right, when you open up your, your gauge, as he is here, you're gonna see he's flowing water. Okay, so that's that's the clue. And then obviously, if you look at your, your heart suction, you can see the water flowing through it. Now at this point, if you wanted to, again, this is why I recommend you can have this hooked up at all times, just for precaution, to keep this thing recirculating. The whole point is to make sure that water is constantly flowing. All right, if you're, if you're running into issues where you have limited water supply, you don't want to dump water in the ground. You can use a tank, re tank fill research to do that job. The problem is you're wasting water. Whereas if you're using this line here, you're going to keep water just recirculating back and forth. So the engine's getting 100 psi in the intake. 
valve is uh, open, the uh, driver's side is open. If you try to open up the passenger side, it will not open because there's too much pressure on the valve. So in order to do that, you have to get down your intake to half. Now try it. Still not. Try more. Open this up more. I think so. All the way. Is it doing it again? All the way. Yep. Now do it. There you go. See? You got too much pressure on that valve. 